Well, ladies and gents, here we have it. We're just moments away from this year's World Cup kickoff, and albeit a highly controversial one, the stakes remain just as high, and all the teams involved will be hoping to make their nations proud. Get ready, the 2022 FIFA World Cup is about to get underway. So we are live from Alco at the Albaid Stadium for the opening match. It will be, of course, Qatar, the host nation facing Ecuador. And uh, we are ready, as I said, we are ready to begin this journey for the upcoming uh, few weeks, almost a month. We're going to follow all the nations at this uh, World Cup. It's Qatar's first appearance at the World Cup, qualified, of course, as uh, tournament's host, Ecuador's fourth appearance, the best result in 2006 in the round of 16 when they lost to England 1-0. And now let's have a listen to the national anthems and I'll be back. So as I was saying, uh, Ecuador qualified by finishing fourth with 26 points, three points above Colombia and seven points above Chile. That's quite the accomplishment. Let's have a look at the starting lineups now. Qatar with Al Shib in goal, Miguel Alwari, Salman Hassan and Ahmed in defense. Hatem and Budiev will uh, make up a, a midfield line of only two players. Al Haidos, the captain, will play behind the two strikers for today, Ali and Afif. We'll uh, move on to the uh, other side, Ecuador, in just a few moments. Going to be starting with uh, Dominguez in goal, Preciado, Torres, Hincapi, Estupinan in defence, Rezo Caicedo and Cifuentes in the midfield, Plata, Valencia, the captain, and Ibarra will uh, make up the offensive uh, three. Of course, we have a 4-2-3-1 uh, formation displayed here, but uh, this can uh, easily be turned into a 4-3-3. Referee blows the whistle and we are on the way at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It is only the uh, second World Cup covered by yours truly on this channel, so uh, I'm delighted, of course, to be able to provide these simulations for you. Ecuador with a first attempt there it to nothing and now Qatar in possession of the ball trying to advance good passing up to that point Alhaidos has lost it it's been quite a messy touch and now Ecuador in possession back again Valencia yes finds uh, that pass and a shot now and it's the opening goal Ecuador take the lead after only six minutes. What a powerful shot that has been. And what a start to this World Cup. Let's see it again. The pass there from Valencia making way for the attacking midfielder today. And look at that shot. Wonderful goal to get things going at this year's World Cup. And uh, as I said, it only took them six minutes to uh, get in the lead. Wonderful, wonderful goal. And now Qatar trailing very early in the game. We'll, uh, they will have to start attacking and uh, risk a lot. Great tackle there. It's going to be a throw-in for the hosts. Fifth, receives the ball, looking to put in a cross, it's a low pass, Amor's there, could have taken the shot but uh, he was quite hesitant and in the end lost uh, possession, long ball from the keeper now, headed back in attack, Amor's once again with space for a shot, looking for a teammate now, 
A chance wasted by Qatar. You can almost feel the tension and uh, just how nervous they are to play their very first World Cup match in front of their own fans. But uh, there is plenty of time left. Maybe they'll get back in the game and um, certainly it won't be easy. Ecuador will continue to attack and put pressure. They got themselves a great start here. Here's Valencia once again. Receiving from Plata. Now a low shot. Easy save for uh, Al Sheep. They need to get the ball away from the defense. That's what they're trying to do here. It's been intercepted at Taco, and that is a foul indeed. It's a short pass from Plata to Hincapié. Caicedo. Oh, wonderful to see Fuentes, and that's a great save to keep it at just one goal. But it will be followed up by a corner. Let's see what uh, they'll get from this. As we are approaching the 19th minute. Teammates positioning themselves as best as they can in the box. Let's see if they'll offer the short pass or the cross. It is a pass. Ibarra gets it in the box. Hincapi now making way for Caicedo. Wonderful pass to Valencia and another great save. Yeah, the ball left out uh, for another corner. Under serious pressure here, Qatar. Let's see that shot again. Really good shot and a really good save to match it. And uh, yes, Ecuador looking to get their second goal. They could uh, finish things off before half time. Across this time, headed away. And they are unable to maintain pressure there, Ecuador. They uh, get the ball back only for a moment. So Fuentes advancing in the box, there's plenty of space there. Oh, he tried to lob the ball in front of goal. Miguel. Here's a fifth. Trying to advance, great tackle by Preciado. No, not exactly. The referee considered that to be a foul. A ball now maybe for a shot. It's a through pass attempted there, but uh, it didn't work out in the end for Qatar. Brazil's been fouled, but referee gives the advantage there. Valencia, and now Plata. Cifuentes. Preciado. No, that's a poor attempt. Alhaidos. Yeah, it was uh, easy to read that pass. Excellent through ball now and a good chance for Ecuador. If Preciado can get it to a teammate. Nice dribble and a pass. The shot is blocked. And the ball back with Ecuador. Estupinan gets uh, the outside of the box to uh, clear the space a bit. Ibarra. And the ball has been lost. He should have been a bit more productive with this uh, with this attack. Qatar on the counter. Ziz plays it to one man. Ball gets to a fifth. Back he'll pass. And it's uh, won back by Preciado. But the goalkeeper plays it in front. Possession is lost again. Fifth. Can take the shot. It's going to be the first corner kick for uh, Qatar. Let's see that attempt again. Not bad. Not bad at all. And uh, Qatar are trying to level the score here before half time. I thought it was going to be an uh, easy match for Ecuador. But so far, things are quite balanced. Alhaidos gets in the box. Will he shoot? No, it's a pass. 
Turns around. And now Almoaz with the shot. Goes over, but I don't think by much. This is going to be a great angle to see. Yeah, just over the crossbar. Ecuador quite lucky this time. Goes one back by Qatar. And they eventually lose it. Risky pass by Pedro Miguel, but uh, they are able to maintain possession for now and uh, even build an attack here. It's a good pass. The shot blocked by Dominguez. And then uh, he's able to retain it. We're just uh, a minute or two away from uh, halftime and Qatar continuing to put pressure. One minute added. Let's hit the shot. Oh, it hit the post. So close to equalizing right before the break. But as it stands, it's 1-0 to Ecuador at halftime. We'll, uh, we'll have to see how the uh, second half is going to pan out. It's going to be really interesting. Will Qatar get back in the game? Will Ecuador further extend the lead? It remains to be seen. Stay tuned. And we are live once again for the start of the second half of the opening match of the 2022 FIFA World Cup Qatar against Ecuador with the South American team leading by just one goal. Uh, it has been a really, really balanced first half. Six shots for Qatar, five for Ecuador. Possession evenly spread across the two teams and my goodness, it's, uh, it's going to be a really exciting second half, I'm sure. Ready to uh, fight back the home team. And Ecuador will have to defend well and make the most of uh, the possession they'll get in this second period. But now it's Qatar who is attacking. Nice pass and another attempted shot that goes over. Yeah, too much height on this one. But you can see there's a really good spirit in their team and they are confident they can equalize and maybe even turn things around as they continue to attack Al Haidas on the right side with the ball is advancing nicely has a lot of space there passes back the ball has been lost to Caicedo and now Ibarra looking for options it's a pass to Hincapié it's Stupinan no that's messy and a loose possession Al Moez Good dribbling, opens up space for a shot, and my goodness, what a save, this should have been the equalizing goal, really. First change made in uh, this match, the Fuentes stepping off, and they need, uh, they need to play more offensively, I think this is why they're making this change here. Cross, not cleared away very well. He's cutting with the ball, losing it to Caicedo, and he has to clear it away. Oh, he's confident enough to uh, be able to keep it there. He's done well in the end. They're losing the ball, Qatar, and now Ecuador with the chance. Here's Valencia. Preciado just stepped in. He should have played like that in the midfield was quite reckless that time Reza wins it back here's Valencia with another great pass Preciado advancing a shot a bit too early but it wasn't too easy for the goalkeeper unable to retain it gives away this corner one hour gone in the match and uh, it's still very very exciting can't tell which way this one's gonna go but for now let's see what Ecuador will make of this corner kick it's played short, it's Tupinan, not sure what he tried to do there, they win it back though, and it's a foul, a great chance from this free kick. Let's see a replay of that, um, 
Yeah, I think that was good judgment from the referee. And this is a crucial moment in this match. They could make it two and uh, ease the pressure a bit under which they have been under for the past 20-25 uh, minutes. I am counting, of course, the last few minutes of the first half as well. Really focused, trying to pick a good option there in the box. Here's the cross. Coming in the middle, headed away, and another time. It's back with Ecuador, Caicedo, Plata dribbling very nicely in the box! Oh, it hit the post! Unbelievable! They were so close to making it too. And another change, Castillo is uh, going to step on the field now. Bringing in fresh players to uh, continue to attack. for the keeper in the midfield won back by Ecuador Valencia in possession excellent pass there once again oh my he should have made more of this the shot hasn't been too wide of the goal but uh, I think it could have continued the run there a bit Pedro Miguel. Here's Alhaidos. Once again with a good run on the right side. Chips it in the box. Cleared away. Caicedo. Now, that was unfortunate. Nice through ball there, and he tried to get it back to Alhaidos for the shot, although he could have taken the shot himself. We're nearing the last quarter of an hour, and it's uh, still undecided, even though Ecuador is leading. Lost the ball quite easily there. Tries to win it back. It's given away. Preciado. And now Valencia attempts a shot of the goal but uh, it's looking good it's looking pretty good for Ecuador Qatar has started to lose a bit of that good form they had at the towards the end of the first half and um, they still haven't scored yet they have conceded just as a reminder in the sixth minute we are now in the 76 minutes and they uh, still haven't equalized Battling for possession. It's going to be a free kick awarded to Qatar. Headed away by Torres. And then by Plata. Aziz. Afif. Simple pass there, but he was caught offside. I was, uh, I was suspecting that. Let's see. And there it is, left foot in front. Just about 10 minutes left. And uh, Ecuador are still chasing that second goal to settle things in this uh, opening match. That's a good run. Has to play a pass, does so to Almoaz. Didn't hit the ball powerful enough and the ball has been lost. Valencia gives it away. Aziz gets the ball again from his teammate. Was unable to pass it. And continue that attack. Pedro Miguel wins it back. Good opportunity. Can he cross it in the box? Not, uh, not a good quality cross there. Ibarra eventually is able to keep the ball. 
I do have to admire how uh, how many battles for possession these players have gone through in this uh, opening match. If this is a sign of things to come, I am going to enjoy this tournament. Three minutes of stoppage time. And uh, as they are running out of time, they get a good chance here. A good chance to uh, put the ball in the box. Yet another change for Ecuador. No changes made by uh, Qatar, interesting enough. Trying to give it all in uh, this opening match. And now with this chance from the free kick, there's a cross, a header, and a second time, it's a goal! They eventually get the equalizer late, late in the game. Oh my ball, they've been chasing this throughout the entire duration of the match, and they finally get it now. First header stopped by the goalkeeper, but then the rebound. Dominguez unable to get uh, back up in time, and he cannot save the second header. Finally, they get the equalizer, and uh, a very high chance now of this match ending in a draw. There's the full-time whistle and the opening match of this year's World Cup ends in a draw. 1-1 one, one between Qatar and Ecuador. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll be back, of course, tomorrow with the remaining three matches. Stay tuned. Have a great one.